In this clip, we are going to create a bill of material for the production process. We have already defined and added a new cutting machine resource to the system and set up the daily resource capacity for this resource. We are now going to open up the bill of material window and create a production type bill of material. To do this, we simply navigate to production, bill of materials. In add mode, we then need to select the product number for our company laptop. We also need to ensure that the bill of material type is production. There are a number of route stages we need to define and the relevant components and resources for each of these routing stages. Let's begin by creating the first route stage. For our first line item, we need to select the type route stage. The first route stage is an assembly stage. So from our list of route stages, we select the appropriate route stage. The next line type is going to be a text line. And from here, we are able to define the type of route stage. We are going to define this route stage as the assembly of a customized laptop. Text lighten items allow you to explain or provide any additional details. We can now define the components required to assemble the laptop. This line type will be an item line type. The laptop is going to consist of the following items. A motherboard, a laptop case, a laptop keyboard, a laptop screen, and a hard drive. To complete our route stage, we now need to add a resource. So we need to change the line type from item to resource. From here, we can add the appropriate resource to fulfill this route stage, which in this case will be a junior technician. A junior technician will be required for 30 minutes to assemble the laptop. Therefore, we need to amend the resource quantity field from one, which equates to one hour, to 0.5. This now completes our first stage, and now I'm going to add to the remaining stages accordingly. We have now added five routing stages to our bill of material. We added the assembly stage for assembling the laptop. We've added route stage two, which is printing the laptop. This prints the company logo onto the laptop cover. Printing the laptop only requires two resources, a printing machine and a junior technician. Route stage three is the cutting stage. This is the cutting of the customer logo out of sticky metal sheets. There is wastage, which is brought back into inventory. Metal waste is measured by the kilo, and each company laptop produced is expected to have around about 10 grams of metal waste. This is depicted by the negative 0.01 quantity, and this will return the material into inventory. Route stage four involves sticking the logo onto the laptop. This involves only one resource, which will in this case be a senior technician. Our final route stage is the drying stage. The drying stage allows for the colors to dry after printing. As you can see, under the waiting days, we've defined a waiting period. This waiting period will allow enough time for the ink to dry. We can also easily rearrange and move individual lines within the bill of material. So for example, I can move a resource using the indicator arrows here, up or down. I can also select multiple rows if I want to move multiple lines from within the bill of material window. I can also select an entire route stage. To move an entire route stage, you can simply change the routing sequence. Finally, the product price is an indicative product price to the final product, and this can be changed if required. Now that we've completed our bill of material, we can add the bill of material to the system. We have now successfully created a bill of material for a customized company laptop, which we can incorporate into the production process.